Hello and welcome to Mumblecast, the oddly structured, poorly researched podcast extravaganza. My name is Liam, and as mm. always, I'm here with my co-host, Kayla. Hi. Hi, Kayla. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. How was your week been? <laughs> Terrible. Why so glum? I can't answer that. <laughs> is it because the autumn leaves are falling and it's getting cold? It's frigid. Frigid in here. Like hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, how are you doing? Good. I'm fine too. Thanks having for Having a pep talk. She is having a pep talk. Um, not from me. I'm not very good at pep talks. I, in fact, I'm awful That's at pep talks. Lie. That's actually a lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm not great at pep talks. But you're not bad. But you're not bad. No. <laughs> I'm just like, meh. Yeah. So, um... It's naturally caffeinated sparkling water. Mm-mm. So for our sponsor, guys, that's a lie. We had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes of tangerine or mandarin or tangerine. green blackberries. Mm, that's two things that should go together. <laughs> that really, really, really should go together. It didn't. It sounded better than the other one. <laughs> okay. It's all right. All right. Um, today, we are going to just be going back to an old... I think we've not done this maybe six months along, but we're going to Would You Rather... And we're just going to ask each other a bunch of questions for 20 minutes or so. Would you rather than try and decide for what would be the best option? Does that sound good? Yep. All right. Let's, let's get, get ready, ready to mumble. mumble. You didn't say in that case. Sorry. And that threw me off. In that case, let's, <laughs> let's get, get ready, ready to mumble. mumble. God, why are we doing so fast? I don't know. Start off slow. I need to speed up. I need to catch up. We have like two let's minutes to get this intro done. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? I think we've done this hey. one. What's a golden I voice? I don't know what a golden voice is. Um, so... Burr. I know a silver tongue is like when you're like really, is it when you're really sly or when you're really good at selling something? That's a silver tongue, isn't it? I don't know. So like a, a really person who's really good at marketing would have a silver tongue. A golden voice, I'm assuming, is just a really good singer. So silver tongue is a tendency to be eloquent and persuasive in speaking. Yeah. Okay. So what was a golden, what's a golden voice, voice? Is golden voice must just be a good singer, right? Or like a really oh. good radio voice, like we have, because we are expert we are podcasters. Experts. Are we gonna? We're going to change our voices. Yeah. yeah we're going to f- modulate our voices, guys, so we're going to sound sexier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, when someone has a certain voice, it makes your jaw drop in astonishment. Oh, like Chocolate Brown guy. Tay, whatever his name is. You know, the girls. Chocolate Rain. I think Silver Tongue. Silver Tongue. Yeah, I'd much rather Silver Tongue. Yes. I don't care what my second voice is. I think I'm very like. eloquent and persuasive in my speech anyway. So I'm, <laughs> yeah. I think I have a Silver Tongue already. Oh, uh, sure. Of course, yes. You can sell us anything. Yeah. Um, yes. Pep talk. Pep talk. Like sparkling water. <laughs> Tangerine and blueberries. Mm, mm. Oh, mm. blackberries or some berry. Um, I think I would go silver tongue as well. Yeah. It would be really cool to have like one of those like really impactful golden voices though. Like. I, I've always wanted to be like a voiceover person. Barack Obama. I don't think his is particularly golden. Like. His is Morgan very, Freeman. Morgan Freeman's got a golden voice. He has a golden voice. The guy who's like, in a world. In the 90s, when I did drugs. movie trailers. I mean movie trailers. <laughs> I did trucks. Drugs. <laughs> oh, drugs. <laughs> Kayla's all about doing drugs. She wants to do crack cocaine. As a podcast uh, topic. Uh, yes. <laughs> She's going to be a while about that. Um, yeah. Ah, remember, remember that meme that was going on? Meme, that, like, viral video of that uh, homeless guy who had a golden voice. Yes. And he's like, make me say anything. And mm-hmm. he ended up doing voiceover for like, the news and stuff. Yeah, I do. That's that was kinda cool. cool. That, uh, would I rather that? I maybe would rather that. Does I the silver still tongue... choose silver tongue. Silver tongue just mean you're really charming as well, though, doesn't yes. it? Yes. It's always quite cool being real charming. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, if you go, you, okay, you go silver tongue, I'll go, I'll go golden voice then. Okay. Why not? Um, you know we can do the same thing. Like, what? We're different things. I yeah. know, but I think it's quite nice okay. to be different. Cool. Um, would you rather be always 10 minutes late or always 20 minutes early? Always 20 minutes early. That's me anyway. I don't know if I... That's my life. If you're always 20 minutes I'm not early. I'm always 20 minutes early. But I'm... I... You're more early than a lot of people I know. I... Yes. <laughs> I make it a habit to... Like, if I'm good... I would rather be early. Hands down. I make it a habit to all, to try to always be early. Because that means if you get to work early... By always being 20 minutes early, you'd always leave 20 minutes early too. Yeah. Is that right? That's not really how it works. But then you'd be 20 minutes early to everything else. If it was... Mm, I'd prefer it, yeah. I'd rather be 20 minutes early to a plane ride than 10 minutes late. 
It, yeah. So, yeah. Hundred percent. Oh, we had a friend one time. Actually, he was flying to, um, to Japan to visit this. Mm-hmm. And have I told you this? Probably. I think so. He was like. Is the friend I know the friend I don't really know by know. The friend you don't really know. Okay. I think Brian, yeah. the the one that came, he came here once. Yeah. Um. So he had a flight. He was coming to Japan. He um got there like one minute or two minutes after the baggage thing closed. Oh, like they God. wouldn't accept his bags. It was oh, like man. one or two minutes late after yeah. that. And then like obviously he had a big bag because we were going snowboarding and stuff. So he couldn't he couldn't just like leave it. And so he had to get a like he got a delayed he had to like get change his flight. Ended up flying to Houston, had a layover in Houston, which made him even later to get to Japan. Like it like took a whole day off his trip oh, man. because of one or two minutes. What an idiot. Yeah. I mean, do you have to change I would have I may have gone without my bag somehow sent my bag home and bought new stuff yeah I probably or would have. i had it shipped i'm mean, sure surely you can like you would have shipped you could have shipped it on another plane on the day but i don't know how much i don't know if i would cost more i might even just cheaper just buying new gear maybe interesting <laughs> yeah sucker yeah that sucked yeah I bet it was also have. hilarious he he gets into a lot of shit like that which is hilarious <laughs> Some people just are oh, just that type that just and he went 100%, uh, happens to like, you know, all these things happen yeah. to them. Yeah, that's funny. I'll tell you another story about him after. It's not a <laughs> podcast one. <laughs> I think we've done this one before. I know we have done this one. Let's not talk about it though. It should be. Do you remember what you said? I think. Would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? We've definitely done this one before, haven't we? I don't know. I, definitely I, talk to animals. I was going to say definitely history of everything you touched. You'd really? be like the best detective in the world. Oh, yeah. You'd be like the best detective. That'd be cool. Detective Kate. You'd have to prove it, but yeah, that'd be amazing. I don't know. I'd like to talk to animals. You'd be Dr. Doolittle. That's true. Well, as long as the animals were cognitive enough to be able to speak. Yeah. If well, it's just I'm like a squirrel going nuts, 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 nuts. I don't want to hear that. But like, I wonder if the whales would talk whale back to you. <sighs> that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, they would speak like that. <laughs> just like <in> you <laughs> that'd get so frustrating like oh I'm done with you whale or the sloth and they'd be like hi <laughs> the one's typing from Zootopia yeah in the DMV it's just all I'm thinking I'm just thinking about movies did you know apparently sloths swim faster than they can walk really? or climb hmm. they're faster in the water than on land interesting because they're half floating Oh, that's probably true, actually. Yeah, the current's taken over. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather spend the rest of your life on a sailboat or an RV? Sailboat. Mm, so, mm. Hmm. It is. I want you. I'm sure you an can, RV. I'm sure you can get. Uh, I think it's as your home. So your home would be a sailboat. Your home would be an RV. So you know, like, it's like a caravan, a big caravan. RV. I lo- Okay. Um, so. I'm going to give yours first and then I'll say why. No, go ahead. So I love being on the water and like, but I have to be moving. If I'm like, if the boat is stopped on water, I get sick immediately. Oh yeah. So if we're not like constantly sailing and we're just like in, then I'm going to throw up every day. But if we're in an RV, when it's, it's the opposite. Oh, I don't know. Cause like in the RV, I guess I will 100% get sick if it's moving. Mm-hmm. But if we're just stopped, like resting like sleeping and all that, like the normal like house stuff, RV would be better because it'd be stationary and not moving. Mm-hmm. But like actual travel wise, I get more sick in like a RV okay. than I would on. Like the reason I like being on the water is because the air and everything blowing on me. Like I don't ever get sick on yeah. that. So I don't know. Can I both uh, and just travel with the sailboat? Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll pull the sailboat behind us. That makes sense. We'll yeah. live on the RV and then we will take the sailboat to travel. I don't know. I'd prefer here. RV, you're really limited where your home is. In the sense of, well, you're not limited in your home, but I mean, you're living in an RV where you put it as the... Well, you can dock your boat pretty much anywhere. Yeah. I'm going to say sailboat. Okay. Well, RVs are bigger, though. can be bigger. It could be. I've always... Sailboat, because you, you don't... Although you have a claustrophobic small area, you're not stuck in that small area. You do have the open... Yeah. 
Do I see enough? Ah, fuck it. Let's go boat. I have no idea. I would. I so I've always liked the sail. idea of a like boathouse. Oh. Since what oh, show was it? I think it was Parenthood. It was there was a TV show where one of the main characters lived on a boat, okay. and like after that, I was like, that's really cool. But my great aunt and uncle used to live in an RV, and mm-hmm. they like had a piece of land in South Carolina, but they like they never lived there until I was I was like in college, maybe high mm-hmm. school when they actually like finally like stopped it there yeah but they just would take it and just drive around and live everywhere and then like especially during like we always said they'd fly south for the winters they would go to florida (laughs) and like work in disney world yeah um just like random different jobs and then like come back like that was always their home base but then like their home went with them everywhere so i always thought that's kind of cool yeah yeah i'm not against that by any means i've got a few i'm gonna say friends we we were friends and then just kind of life um, and they've got three kids, and they've recently converted a van, like a, it's a relatively small van, into their house. So oh. them and their three kids are traveling around in France at the moment. And I don't know how long they plan on doing it for, but it, it seems mental because it's, it's it's not like an RV; it's just it's a van. It's like Shit. a big people carrier essentially. Yeah, or a really big people carrier, but um, it's kind of like slightly bigger than those Volkswagen vans, like that type of thing. Okay. But yeah, credit to them for doing it. Um, I can find one that's on All Instagram right. somewhere. Yeah, that's it's, cool. it's really not big, but it's impressive that they're doing it. Yeah. Would you? Would you rather give up all drinks except for water, or give up eating anything that was cooked in an oven? Oh, easy. I'd give up anything that was cooked in an oven. Uh, that's, I don't. I don't use an oven anyway. Like literally, never use an oven. You would give up pizza. I can give a pizza. I've not had pizza in months. Mm. You've got a grill. You've got a microwave. And this is a microwave oven, then we're screwed. But But not stovetop. No, stovetop's fine, it's not an oven. So what would you cook in an oven? You can fry Brussels sprouts. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's a lot of stuff I would miss for sure. What would you miss? Turkey. Lasagna? You can put cook turkey. You can put turkey on a grill. Lasagna. You would miss lasagna. You probably could put lasagna on a grill as well. But I could I could do without lasagna for the rest of my life to be able to drink like juice and not just water. Yeah. Look at me already. I can't fucking live without mayo. I know. It's a little bit ridiculous. It is a bit ridiculous. It's actually getting really ridiculous. It's costing me a lot of money. These only things aren't cheap. It's ridiculous I, how um, much go through them. <laughs> I think I could do. I mean, like, basically, I just drink water anyway. I've just, like, recently started drinking the plain flavored water. water. Yeah. I mean, that's all I drink for a very long time. But then you would also have to take away all alcoholic beverages, like wine. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. So, just for my wine, I'm going <laughs> to stay with not cooking in an oven. That sounds good. Would you rather be able to control humans with your mind or electronics with your mind? I'm going to say electronics just because... I think it's weird to control humans. I am going to say electronics too because Skynet, baby. And what is all... Skynet? <laughs> so, That's like the sixth time I've heard it in the past three days. and I don't know what it is. In the movie Terminator, okay. the kind of computer program or the computer that's system that is named that you know ends up taking over mm-hmm. is I think of Skynet. It's essentially, it's an AI pro, uh, program okay. and it's referred to as Skynet. Okay. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I think what's a kind of similar thing. I don't know. But it's basically a computer program. Yeah. And it's just on a Skynet. Right. Um, yeah, that'd be easy because you could control everything. Yeah. With your I mind just... as well. It's not even just like you're able to... Like, just, I can literally go... Oh, you, fridges, ovens, all that stuff's made. Yeah. This computer. I just think that it's a money. slippery slope with people. Like, yes, there's a lot of things I'd like to get people to do and mm. think and change. But if you're taking away their free... like free will yeah. to do it then they're not doing it they're, like, they're not actually changing anyway you're just forcing them to and then it just becomes yeah. like a like i don't know if you'd ever get to the point where it's like you don't ever wait for somebody to do something you just make them do it and yeah. i don't know and well just... can't be like charles xavier where we have that strong bit of will and let people do it but maybe you get to the point you're so powerful with it that you again you end up being like a chess player you're like toying with people yeah how about what happened with uh, Kill Jessica Jones? What was the villain called in season one? 
Kilgrave? Kilgrave, yeah. yeah. What about his one? That'd be awful. Because he said he ended up... Uh, there was half a, half an episode when he came across as though he was a victim to some degree. Because people always do what he says. Mm-hmm. Because that's his curse, power, whatever. Yeah. What do you think that would be like? Terrible. Because then, like, you could never ask somebody to do... Like, you, it was... It, like, again, it's never their free will. It's always, like... You would never know if they would were wanting to do it. Like, you'd be like, hey, do you want to go hang out? And then they automatically do it. And you're like, but did you want to? Or did you just... Did I make you? I suppose you could be very eloquent with your how you say things. If you were silver-tongued. If you were silver-tongued, exactly. Yeah. It would be really hard not to... But I've never, I've never told you to do anything, I don't feel. Well, there's times when I'm like, what you need to do is this. But I mean, <laughs> I, I do that I quite a lot. <laughs> I'm bad at that, perhaps. Really? But I don't like say, hey, give me that. I'll get me that. And I don't feel like you there's ever please. been... please. Yeah. But I don't think there's ever been a time where I've, I feel like I need to. Yeah. But it, I, I think that it, it would can't. get <laughs> that slippery slope with, like, with, this, with, the, with the stuff like you were saying, like, you should do this. It's like uh, enough times of being like, well, you should do this. And you're just like... And I'm just going to make them do this. Like, yeah. They're not listening. Do you think you would turn evil with it? I don't think you would mean to. I don't think I would mean to. But I think that, like I was, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it, I think it would start with really good intentions of like, I can help this person. Yeah. But then it would become like, no, they're not listening. So yeah. <laughs> let me just make them. But I guess if you were like, you went to all the rich people in the world and say you're going to donate this and help this and that. But do you think it would just be like a spiral of things going wrong and mm-hmm. you having to try and help them? You probably spend a lot of time on the phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just trying to command people to do things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Did Kilgraves work over the phone or was it just in person? I think his worked over the phone, yeah. I feel like it did because I think it, there'd yeah, be, there were messages and stuff that you'd, you'd be like really on someone that was a really good season it like was just going to season one that was my favorite of all the netflix yeah like that he was, was a amazing. great bad guy I'm, I'm surprised they spoiler alert i surprised they killed him or got rid of him because he could have come back and been really good yeah well i think i mean the second one kind of like played on that like whole ptsd where he kind of like was in yeah. and out i never got to the end of the second one did you watch the third one was it was the third one is there a third one third. i don't i haven't watched it I yeah, think there either. Be. don't know if it's even still on netflix probably mm. Hmm. Would you rather be an average person in the present or a king of a large country 25,000 or oh, 2,500 years ago? Definitely a per, an average person nowadays. Yeah. King back then, that was an awful job. Yeah. Everyone wanted to kill you and stuff. Yeah, and you probably only lived for like two years doing it. Um. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, I've not heard this one before. Okay. Would you rather be able to dodge anything, no matter how fast it's moving, mm-hmm. or be able to ask any three questions and have them answered correctly or accurately? Any three questions? Like, to anybody or just in general? Just, just three in general, questions three questions done. and they're answered. Ooh. Is there a time limit on your I questions? think it has to be three questions. Is there a time that's, limit That's essentially three wishes. Yeah. Um... No, there's okay. no time limit. Within your life, you've got three questions that you okay. can answer. Yeah, I would say that one. The dodging one makes me think of the boys. <laughs> the very first episode, oh, I was yeah. just like, you said that, and I was like, you can dodge anything? <laughs> <laughs> I, the dodging would be cool in the sense that you could have a really interesting, fun life. Yeah. You know, you could do things and you could be at sports or, you know, you could be I don't know, some sort of stuntman. You could be just a magical you act. Like a you can be ninja. You can be a, 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 a very good soldier. Yeah, but Imagine yeah, you could dodge three anything. Questions. Three questions. What? I have uh, no idea. What just trying to think of one them. out of the three. Oh man! I, the difference is accurately and correctly. See, because it says accurately. Yeah. It, so it doesn't really give you much of an answer. I think it means correctly. But if I will say to them what's the solution to everlasting life? Mm-hmm. And they've said, there is none. I'm like, oh. You know? <laughs> You're like, it's like, I guess that's, that's I accurate. I just used one of my questions. Yeah. <laughs> I take so, it back. So you have to kind of ward it I in didn't a way. didn't rub the lamp. So, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I, I you would say like, when do I, die? like what age do I die? I don't want to know that. I know, I don't want to know that either. I don't know if I want to know that or not. I don't want to know that. Um, oh man. Okay. I would say three questions, 
Dodging would be, would be really cool, but three questions yeah. I would choose. But we're not going to answer. Well, maybe another episode, think about the three ones you get asked. Yeah, Let's think about that and see if we can answer them in the okay. coming weeks. Okay. Or at least provide one question. Mm-hmm. Would you rather know when you're going to die or not know when you're going to die? Oh, better. When you're going to die or how you're going to die? Ooh. Probably how. Okay. No, because if they say no. you're hit by a car, then like, it could be any time. Yeah. Well, I was going to say that. Like, what if they say you die in a plane crash and you're like, okay, so I never fly again? I mean, Without I Without a plane guess. to fly into. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it would make yeah. you very, very fearful. But I feel like knowing a time, like, knowing the date, the, like, how old you were or, like, when, it it definitely, like, puts, like, a timeline on things and you're like, okay, well, I need to get this done before this date. But I feel like there's less fear involved with it than the how. Because the yeah. how is so much uncertainty. Dep- it totally depends on what the how would be. You know, if yeah. there was you, you die in hospital, I was like, okay, well, I guess in hospital is not really an answer either. If it's like you die of old age, uh-huh. then it's like, okay, cool. But if it's like you die drowning, then you're like, I mean, am I never taking a bath again yeah. or a shower or getting in a swimming pool? Like, you're I always mean, on that like, yeah. alert. I think I would rather know. No, but cause imagine you said, oh, you die in six days. You I guess it I, I, you know, I guess you're right. Time is maybe. Time is more, less ambiguous. Yeah. And it's like, okay. And if it was 100% accurate, like to the yeah. second, then okay, fine. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it would be very real, very quick. But I think it's better than If you than could handle that mortality. Fear. Or the, yeah, if you could handle that, the mortality of yeah. that. Yeah. I think just not knowing in general is better. But the, I think I would do when versus yeah. how for sure. That sounds good. All right, we'll do a couple more. Do you have any you want that you particularly want to ask? Or should I just keep going through this list? You keep going through the list. Okay. Good? Would you rather travel the world for a year on a shoestring budget or stay in one country for a year but live in luxury? How shoestring are we talking? Like basic food, basic accommodation, like hostel accommodation, basic food. Then the other But one. the traveling around the world is free. You don't pay for any of that. The other one. Only because one of my favorite things about traveling is the food. And, mm-hmm. like, experiencing the food and the culture. Culture going into being the food as well. And if I don't have the money to do that, like, if I if I go on a trip, I'm trying to make sure, like, budget-wise, I can, like, do what I want to do in that place. Because uh-huh. if not, I feel like it defeats the purpose of being there. Like, where I sleep, like, I don't really care about that side of it. Like, or, like, if I need to take a bus or a train versus, like, fly, that that I'm less concerned about. But I want to be able to, like, eat where I want to eat. and. Mm-hmm go to the museums and like the little, the basic stuff that I want to be able to like enjoy about that culture. And if I'm going and I'm like, okay, I can eat one meal today yeah, and it needs to be under 10 bucks. Like, yeah, I agree. I also think that's the best choice because it's easy to travel the world on a shooting budget. Mm-hmm. It's hard to live a year in luxury because you need to have money to live in luxury. You don't need money to yeah. travel on a shooting budget. Yeah. So you can do that the next year. Yeah. But you could do the other one. Oh, you could just save your luxury money. That's what, <laughs> I don't know. That's what I don't know if do. you have the money. I think you're just living in luxury. So you have like a really nice house and car and foods provided and all that sort and of stuff. And then you sell it all at the end you of your year. It. You get all that money and then you travel the next year. Yep, done. On a ah. medium budget. <laughs> oh, yeah, medium not budget. a shoestring, but medium where you're still staying in like, not like a Ritz Carlton, but you're staying in a place where you can go eat three meals a day and not be hungry. You have found a would you rather loophole. Yes. Good job. Would you rather be suddenly elected a senator or suddenly become a CEO of a major company? You don't know anything more than you know now, but you have to do one of those roles. CEO. Yeah? Yeah. I'd probably go senator. There's a lot that I would like to do as a senator, but I think that I'm pretty busy. I've, I've learned about myself that I am okay in the business world, and I think I could do well. CEO of a major business. I would imagine it was a CEO of like one of the big Fortune 500 companies. I'd be totally out of my depth. Well, yeah. But as a senator, as long as you then set for yourself, like, okay, what do I want to provide the people of this area? It's not that hard, I don't think, to then push that. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying it's that's more about standing for something rather than. Yeah. But depends. You can end up being CEO of something you really know and enjoy. Silver tongue. So, so what time? You'll be good. You already have it, so you'll be fine. 
Um, would you rather live in a virtual reality where you're all powerful or live in the real world and be able to go anywhere but not able to interact with anyone or anything? Ew. Wow, this is a weird one. Would you rather, basically, would you rather be a god in virtual reality, virtual reality or would you rather be a ghost in the real world? God in virtual reality. Going, you know, I don't like going places. I like doing things. In virtual reality, you get to interact, though. Yeah. That one. I really value interaction. And it says you're all powerful, so you can control shit. Well, I mean, I don't care about that part, but I... I don't mean people, but I mean, Being like, able to... Like, not being able to yeah, communicate food, or interact things. with people. Yeah, that'd be awful. I can't do... No. Even as introverts as we claim to be, I don't some degree. To be an introvert. You're an introvert a little bit. I'm shy. You're not, you're not actually as much of an introvert as you'd, you'd first appear. No. Yeah. No, we had discussion before, actually. Yeah. You're I'm not shy. Introvert. You're shy, yeah. Once I get to know you, I don't shut up. Yeah. Almost smothering. <laughs> oh, Would you rather be the only oh, able shit. to watch? <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Would you rather live until you're 200, but look like you're 200 the whole time? Or would you rather look healthy <laughs> as you're 25 but die at 65? If I live to 200, am I, like, yes, I know I look like I'm 200, but is my body frail like I'm 200? Or is it just I look like it? It doesn't specify, so I'm going to say you do progressively get more frail, but you're not as frail from, like, now onwards. Like, you'd be, just as you are at 20 or whatever. You just look like you're 200. Yeah, and then as you get to near 200, you do get frailer. Yeah. But almost like on a similar scale as you would to 65 okay. or 90. I think so. Part of living to do hundred sucks because everyone you know dies. I was just about to say that. And America. I don't think that is really. You have to be living in a life where you don't have people you love for that to make sense. Yeah. And if you look like you're two hundred, it's just weird. So, but also sixty five is really fucking young. It is. And I plan on looking half decent until I'm like fifty anyway. So what's next for fifty? <laughs> Maybe not like when I was when I was twenty five, <laughs> but. I've um, seen my dad. My dad looks good at sixty plus. I think that one, like, so that goes back to the to the no one you know when you're gonna die. If you know you're dying at sixty five, then like, I think you can come to peace with it, and then you know like, what other people that love you about 30, 30, 35 years, sure, maybe some of them, but knowing that you outlive literally everybody you love by at least a hundred years, mm-hmm. that like you said, that suck. I would like to see what the whole world has going to happen. I don't want to be part of that, though. I really don't. Yeah. I want to enjoy my time and don't be part of the next time because it's going to be crap. You basically have to hey, just but, start over. Imagine, yeah. I guess you could, but if you look 200, you're not, you can't. Interesting. I'm going to say 200 only because I don't want to die at 65. Fair enough. I'd rather live... An extra 120 years rather than 20 years less than I hope to live. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, last one. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be an unimportant character in the last movie you saw or an unimportant character in the last book you read? So would you rather be unimportant in Hook or is that Hook or the other one you read the first? last one. one. Oh, the other one. So we'd rather be someone, and that's they only had like six characters, so. <laughs> or an unimportant person in Aladdin. Aladdin. This last book I read, they, like, brutally murdered each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I would, especially the unimportant characters, they brutally murdered them for sure. So I would rather be unimportant in Aladdin. The last book I read was Ready Player One, so in the book. Yeah. Unimportant character in that would yeah. be kind of interesting. Yeah. More than Agrabah. Agrabah. <laughs> All right, cool. That's as simple we finish. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let us know if you have any... Different opinions on what we chose. They were quite good. We drew others, yeah, actually. Yeah, these were real. This is a really good Yeah, that's a good list. Yeah. Um, it didn't lie when it said the only would you rather list you will ever need. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. No shits and hits today. We're going to come back next week. Hold on. I might have a shit and hit. Oh, do you have a shit and hit? I have one. Okay, what's I, your shit and hit? I really like Turbo Johnson. Oh, huh, did you actually yeah. come? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Like, I wasn't lying I wasn't when I told sure. Drake to put him on the other day. Like, he reminds me of Macklemore, and I really like Macklemore. Yeah, me too. I think Macklemore got a lot of shit when he first came out. I was like, I liked him. I must be bad because I, I loved Macklemore. 
I, I, I feel like I like a lot of music that people don't like, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> Like, I was on Facebook the other day, and people were giving Ed Sheeran a load of shit. I'm like, I, I like Ed Sheeran, Sheeran, too. I was like, why are you giving him a load of shit? Yeah, I don't I get it. Some more taste music. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me, yeah. but... Um, Okay, yeah, cool. I'm glad you liked him. Yeah. yeah, I hope he brings out some new stuff, like actually like an album, which it looks like it might be coming soon. But okay. anyway, he's he's playing here in October, which I saw. I was like, ah, do I want to go see him? Probably won't enjoy him. Yeah. But uh, it's not really something I'd want to see. I think I'd just like to listen. Yeah. Um, too old for that now, yeah. All right, that's cool. I don't get any hits and shits and lits. Yeah, that but, was it. I'm um, still on the boys. I'm still trying to get through it. But okay. it's been good so far. It's going to be the end of September coming up this uh next weekend so we're hitting october which would be good that means the open starting in crossfit mm-hmm. so we'll probably try a little bit about them because that's what we do i do and it uh, it came out so i'll probably have that a review of that next week yep maybe okay cool um at the mumblecast on instagram send us something please yes. and that's about it okay i've been liam i'm kayla and it's been mumblecast bye bye